Hi, Fallout 4 fans. I thought I'd uh, give you some uh, footage of Fallout 3 from the beginning with the Oculus Rift DK1 using 4PEX. Um, we have seen the trailer. I done a review on it yesterday. I wasn't too impressed with the graphics. A lot of people would have agreed that it looks like it's using maybe the engine from Skyrim or maybe I've seen some cheeky person saying it may have been using the Oblivion um, engine. I doubt that very much, but probably somebody that's trolling. Uh, won't be on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. It looks like it's going to be going to be yes, it's been confirmed through their website. It's only going to be uh, you know next generation consoles to gain the PC specs up for it. Uh, the, we did see in the trailer now that uh, the the boat was from the Tea Party. I've been ex it was that was explained to me. I didn't know all these things. You know all these things. I am a f I have played Fallout 3. I'm not a, f a massive fan of the series, although I really enjoyed Fallout 3. I will be getting Fallout 4 and playing it absolutely, absolutely. But uh, for the real diehard fans uh, from Fallout 1 and Fallout 2, they said they had massive stories. I never played Fallout 1 or Fallout 2, but the, the fans from that uh, from that generation, uh, the, the 90s, I suppose, um, really did say, look, uh, the, the, the game... The game story was lacking in the third one. I I didn't find that because I didn't play the first two, but uh, that that was an, an interesting. Uh, another person brought up a point that they hope that uh, has multiplayer support and co-op. I would love that. That would be another awesome thing. That would be great. You know, I would love that in Skyrim too. The Elder Scrolls wasn't just the the same kind of uh, wasn't the same playing as Skyrim and. Uh, uh, not, not half as enjoyable. And again, just with the graphics, I'll read you out a comment that someone's put out. They've said uh, that graphics wise, I must say I'm disappointed four years in making that it's not spectacular at all. I'm hoping some from some wow factor, but it seems that Beth Seta does not know how to make graphically intense games. It's like they count too much on the community to do their job after. Hope the graphics engine will be flexible to allow modders to do something with it like they did with Skyrim. I would say that this game will be very easily modded because it does look the, like the same uh, engine of Skyrim in it. He goes on to say, just, just to say, I'm not talking about gameplay, just graphics, and I'm sure it will be a, a terrific game to play, I, I'm sure as well, but I expected something more. And um, I, I guess I would agree with this comment because the graphically it doesn't look um, like like a new title like Dying Light, for for example, or another kind of fluid, um, you know, this generation, this next generation kind of uh, title. It looks like a last generation uh, title, but of course with the PC we'll be able to ramp up the graphics and whatever else as well. But it's the game engine that we do need to. Um, I don't know to be pristine to be the you know you know four years on from the last game that was released. Um, I did really enjoy reading this comment. It's probably a troll, but he goes, "You guys should be grateful." This is all the gra graphics game. You guys should be grateful. Per graphics made a stable 60 frames per second at 1080p on both consoles. <laughs> that, that's that's just a bit of a, a slap in the face like for the console gamer. It goes on to say you got neat gra graphics in the PC version and uh, mods to improve textures and yeah I'm, I'm sure there will be lots of mods to improve the textures and all but uh you know uh, 60 frames per second at 1080p uh, that should be expected of the consoles and um, with great graphics too even just reading the paper around this on, on the papers the guardian the, the guardian wants to see customizable vehicles um that's one thing that we are lacking in, in the last fallout uh, las vegas and uh, fallout 3 was uh, vehicles to travel about and now oblivion and skyrim and i haven't played any of the other elder scrolls pre oblivion but they had horses to travel around and and uh, i think there was even dragons i never got that far in the game if you're allowed to travel in dragons i did see on other people's youtubes that there was dragons to fly about the game now i did see ships and it would be great if uh, they did have you know some kind of form of transportation other than uh walking miles upon miles or or skipping it you know fast traveling which is i mean i do agree with fast traveling being the game but at the same time it would be nice to get to your destination a little bit faster than just uh walking but um it was disappointing actually last game because there was motorcycles lying about and the first thing i tried to do when i seen the motorcycles uh you know 
try to get on to them, try to, you know, the, the Y button, the GTA, um, try to get on the vehicle, but of course that, that's not working. So hopefully Fallout 4 will have vehicles. I, I am uh, praying for this, but I haven't heard any news on this. But as soon as I do, I'll let you all know. Um, I should actually say this as well, another, actually my friend uh, that helps me with the, the artwork of uh, the, these YouTube videos, he goes to me, there probably is going to be a strong Irish contingent in this game. And I was thinking, yeah, it is Boston, so maybe we will see a lot of, uh, you know, Irish <laughs> Irish type uh, characters, uh, probably leprechauns, whatever, taken on the absolute piss. But it'll be interesting to see if there is like a, an Irish theme to the game. Of course, we're going to see more gameplay footage on June sixteenth at E three, so that will be very interesting. Um, we did see a lot of game footage on the trailer, so we'll be interested to see what way it plays. I know we'll have a great storyline from both Seto. They're very good at doing the storylines, and uh, the gameplay will be excellent, I suppose. But it'll be more similar to the the last one. So it's a pity about the 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 the, the engine or the graphics but i know that we're going to get a good storyline with uh fallout 4 i'm pretty much sure of that another thing i would lo love to see would be uh support for the oculus rift of course i'm playing this fallout 3 with the oculus rift and as you can see i'm a baby and walking around the place and you know it's uh using four backs but um it'd be great if it did have some kind of support for oculus rift or vr or compatible with the morpheus when it comes out with the place you know with the playstation 4 so that would be that would be great if there's no multiplayer, it would be nice to have that kind of immersive experience in virtual reality. I think it's going to be one of these big, you know, one of the big things, like, of uh, of this, the next five years of console, and maybe, it's not saying five years, but from now until onwards, um, until we get something else, but I think virtual reality is way forward for a more immersive experiences with games. So hopefully we see um, some kind of VR support uh, announced E3 maybe for uh, Fallout 4. Anyway, I've done enough talking for now. Um, I hope to see you soon in this channel. I'll keep on updating on Fallout 4 and other kind of game things and fixes. I've got maybe I'll do an overclock, you know, how to overclock your PC in the next video or whatever. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. These Surprise! Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your Congratulations, mother... young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well... Are you all ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities? So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. Ha! I knew I surprised you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak, issue 14, and with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things, believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was ten once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. Oh man, you got a pit boy. I wish I was ten. Happy birthday! Are you having a nice time?
I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. I do not allow the fact that Amata is my daughter to compromise my position as overseer. I gave her all the appropriate paternal encouragement, of course, but I could not contribute extra vault resources. That is simply what my position requires. No more, no less. I know Amata understands that perfectly well. Nice party. Attention, everyone! It's time to cut the cake! Andy, wait! Nice pit boy. What is that? One of the 3,000 A models? What piece of junk? I think you have to wind it up every morning. Oh, no! Allow me to wish you a happy birthday. I would offer you a piece of cake, but... Uh... Look, Butch. I don't think his puny on, arm is Wally. strong enough you to whip that pit ideas. boy. Daddy, I told you Jeez, not to Wally, act all the official. Game. You are me. I know you no were joking, way. but I'm not sure anyone so, else So, what did. do you think we should call our... Yeah. Nonsense. Be People total always killers. enjoy my little speeches. Hey, how about the vault dweller? Besides, that Get friend it? of yours could use a reminder Who wants to go around all day being called a vault games. dweller? Sometimes I think you really are as uh, dumb as you look. supposed to be a party, How's it going, you know? pal? Hun? You should try it sometime, Daddy. You might like it. Hey, you have Having a, nice a good time? time? It wasn't easy keeping this a secret. Now go on. I'm sure everyone else surprised? would like a chance. I'm sure of it, Amata. Never suspected a thing. Now go on and enjoy yourself. Hey, happy birthday, no Thanks for coming, Sammy. Baby. I Bob know you rats. were busy with you the guys water like that? purifier. I don't know. Are you having a nice Maybe. time? Well, How are you enjoying the party, I've got to think Palmer? about it. I help with the decorations, you guys you know? are dumb. Somebody's got to have a better idea oh, than those. Oh, really? They're lovely. Oh, oh, I got it. You did oh, such man, a splendid a job. The grease Jonas? Weasels. What do you guys think? Hey, Doc. We're all set down here. Grease weasels. Thanks. Hello, I'll Jonas. send them right down. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Gary, you're just goofy. They I'm glad to be here. Right? I think it's important to keep in touch with the young people, you know, as part of my job. Plus, well, I like party. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. They sure did. My, my! Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now... Uh, sure thing, Officer Gomez. Well, it's been nice chatting with you. Thanks again for coming. Thank you for coming, Miss Beatrice. I hope you're having a nice time. Go on. Oh Jonas is goodness. waiting for you downstairs. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Whoa, that's that your dear hobby? boy is like a son to <laughs> me. Quick. Give me an idea for what to name our game. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Hey, relax. I was just teasing. Listen, now that you're ten, you don't have to take guff... Hold on. Are you ready for your surprise? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it work. You know how- So. Easy. Well, 
What do you think? You can come down here. Careful, it's a rad brooch. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. It'll be fine. Good work. That's one less rad brooch to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Good work. Let's get a... Smile. Boys and girls have different parts. What is your anyway? So, I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? Like, I get any kind of special treatment. Tell me. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. Hey, it's not... Come on. No. When I started studying medicine, one of the first things I learned... 